Little Fox Food Allergy Lesson Good morning, class, said Mr. Aaron. Today we have a visitor. Jada looked up. The visitor was Miss Santiago, the school nurse. Is somebody sick? asked Paul. The nurse smiled and shook her head. I'm here to talk about food allergies. Ooh. Mike waved his arm. I'm allergic to peanuts. I'm allergic to shrimp, said Matt. I can't eat eggs, said Jennifer. My sister is allergic to tree nuts, said Jada. What happens if you eat these things? asked Miss Santiago. I get a bad stomach ache, said Matt. Then I throw up. I get itchy, said Jennifer. Are food allergies dangerous? asked Carly. They can be dangerous, said the nurse. Some kids have severe allergies. Foods can stop their breathing. But there's medicine to help. Jennifer raised her hand. If you're allergic to foods, what can you do? Good question, Jennifer, said Miss Santiago. Anyone have an idea? How can you protect yourself? Always check food labels, said Carly. Don't trade food with other kids, said Mike. Carry your allergy medicine everywhere, said Jada. Great ideas, said Miss Santiago. You must also speak up. Tell teachers and friends. Make sure everyone knows about your allergy. That will keep you healthy. Paul raised his hand. I have a severe allergy, but it's not a food allergy. What is it then, Paul? asked Mr. Aaron. Paul grinned. I'm allergic to homework. <laughs>
Hi guys, right now what we're going to talk about are the two most common medicines that are used to treat allergic reactions. Remember earlier when we broke down the signs into minor signs and severe signs for anaphylaxis? Well, that's exactly how we're going to go over the medicine. It will help you remember which medicine to use and when. So the first medicine that we would use for minor allergic reactions, so remember those are the signs that cause you the itch and you might break out into hives, those little red bumps or a rash. That's when you'll use diphenhydramine, which is also known as Benadryl. So don't worry, you won't have to learn these big words because there's always smaller words that will help you know what medicine that you need to take. So Benadryl comes in pill bottles typically. And what you'll do is with some water, you'll take one of these pills and swallow it. Now, for severe allergic reactions called anaphylaxis, you are going to use the medicine epinephrine. So epinephrine usually comes in an EpiPen auto-injector. Some of you might are already know what this is and some may not. So inside of this is the medicine epinephrine. It's gonna come out inside of a needle. Remember, when holding one of these, you never wanna hold the top and you never wanna hold it at the bottom. Always hold it in the middle. So you might be wondering why you might have to use this versus a pill. Well, here's the thing. Pills don't always work as fast in a serious situation. So epinephrine, once injected into your leg with the needle, works at speed lightning. It's going to go zoom right through your body and help you right away. So that is why when you're having anaphylaxis and why we're going to learn how to use that, because it's very and very important part of saving your friend. So now that we've gone over the two medicines, remember this is called diphenhydramine, also known as Benadryl, and you'll use this for minor allergic reactions. For severe allergic reactions called anaphylaxis, you're gonna use the medicine epinephrine, which typically comes in an EpiPen auto injector. Hi friends.
now that we've learned what epinephrine is inside of an auto injector, Benadryl, and the directions on how to use this EpiPen, we are going to demonstrate on a stuffed animal. You might be thinking, why on a stuffed animal when we're supposed to be doing this on our friends or ourselves? Well, the answer is some kids may be scared to use this. So to help them ease into using it on themselves or a friend, we have them practice on a bear first. Oh, she's missing a bow. Isn't that silly? So the first thing we want to do if we have a friend that is experiencing any signs and symptoms of an allergic reaction is to get an adult. That could be your teacher or the school nurse. Then you want to find out where the EpiPen is located. Again, according to your school, the nurse will be able to tell you exactly where that is. Now, now that we have the EpiPen, we're going to demonstrate on Miss Bear here. Okay, you want to make sure that your friend is sitting up. So that way, when we put the EpiPen inside of her leg, she's stable and not moving around. You want to make sure they're very still. Next, we're going to take the EpiPen. Remember, you want to hold it in the middle with a fist grasp. So that means you want to hold on to it tightly in the middle. Now, you could do this if with your right hand if you're a righty or your left hand if you're a lefty. I'm a righty, so I'm going to be using it in my right hand. The next thing you want to do with your other hand is take out the blue safety release. Remember, Blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. All right, while you're holding your friend still, you're gonna locate where her outer thigh is, and that's where you're going to put the needle part inside. So now you might be wondering, why do we have to use a needle instead of medicine? Remember, we talked about this when we were talking about epinephrine and Benadryl. Sometimes there's certain medicines and situations that you need to use one that works really, really fast, like speed lightning, which happens to be in needles. The medicine inside the pill that goes inside your mouth that you eat doesn't work as fast sometimes. So situations like this, it's important that you use the speed lightning medicine, okay? So now that we're holding it in the middle, we're gonna put it in the outside of her thigh. Remember, hold her still and hold her leg steady. You're gonna push until you feel and hear a click. After you hear the click, you're gonna to count to 10 seconds. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Counting out loud will help you remember how many seconds you are at. After the 10 seconds are over, you're gonna release the EpiPen away from your friend's leg. See this part? That's where the needle is going to come out. You don't want to touch this or the top, only in the middle. After you've used the EpiPen, you're going to put it back inside the case that you took the EpiPen out of. For this, I don't have the case because this is only a trainer. Um, but in real life, you'll use this and put it inside the case until the ambulance comes. When the ambulance comes to pick up your friend so she can go to the hospital, you are going to give them the EpiPen. And now that you've seen it demonstrated on a bear, it's time to look at a video that demonstrates how to do it on a friend of your own age. Now remember, different EpiPens require different amounts of seconds to count and even sometimes talk to you. So depending on the EpiPen will determine how long you have to hold it into the, hold it into the leg and you'll be all set, okay? Bye, friends. Hi, I'm Lucas from First Safety. And I'm Georgia, and today we're gonna to show you how to use an EpiPen. An EpiPen is a life-saving medication. It must be used when someone is having a really severe allergic reaction, known as anaphylaxis. Our friends, teammates, brothers or sisters, or anyone who has anaphylaxis should always carry around their EpiPen and a copy of their action plan. 
Both these tools are life-saving. The EpiPen is a special medicine that we must give correctly to help save their life. The action plan tells us what the person is anaphylactic to, like food or insect stings. It also shows the signs of symptoms of anaphylaxis and how to use the EpiPen. Anaphylaxis can happen very quickly. The EpiPen can only be used once. Knowing how to use the EpiPen is very important. Here are some important tips. Number one, remove all the dangers, especially the food or item that is causing the reaction. Number two, keep the person really still. You can lie them down, but sometimes it feels better to sit up. Number three, remove the EpiPen from its case. Number four, hold the EpiPen firmly in your hand, keeping your thumb away from the top and the bottom. Number five, remove the blue lid. Number six, hold the leg super still. Find the special spot. On the side of their thigh is perfect. Tip, you can keep your clothes on, but make sure there's nothing in the area that the needle will be on, like your phone or toys. Number seven, firmly push the orange end of the needle into the leg until you hear a click and hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Number eight, remove the needle and place it safely back in its case and we will give it to the ambulance when they arrive. Just remember, blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. You must always get some help. It is very important that you call triple zero or you can try 112 on your mobile phone. Or ask an adult as soon as possible. Remember, keep the person super still until the ambulance comes. They should never move. Help will come to them. Never be afraid to help someone who needs their EpiPen. In an emergency, it will not hurt them. It will only help them. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. time.